This week on the tease. When are we just doing like the same thing just over and over and over again without any change in sight? Oh gosh, now I'm busy. Hey, que no te confundas. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Tease, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump headfirst into it on the weekend. We are talking John 21, okay, for this weekend. That is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So so the basics of, of, of what I want to lift up today for, for you is this idea of, of, you know, Easter is a time of newness, of, of new life. Life is just like exploding because it's like resurrected life. And all these different celebrations that we had were amazing. I and mean, we had like seven different Easter celebrations. And they were all just about newness and freshness and life that's coming out all over the place. Just like that. I mean, just like water spilling. Life was spilling all over the place. But here's the thing we got to keep in mind is that sometimes we just go right back to our normal ways of life after Easter. We can't do that. It's just like, what's the point? If we go back to just the normal way we do things, it's just... Easter was just like this this great monument we worshipped. And that's, that was it. But we're not worshipping a monument. We're worshipping a movement. Right? And the movement of Jesus Christ. And the movement of, of, of the resurrected Jesus Christ. So what does that mean? Well... In, in today's gospel, it is, or this week's gospel, you're going to have John um, telling the story of where Jesus is showing up for the third time, the third time to the disciples, and they still haven't really gotten it. I mean, this time, they're like going back to their old ways. They're like fishing. Jesus literally showed up in their lives three times, except for Thomas. That was only twice. And of course, not Judas, because he was, you know, 86. But they sh he showed up three times and gave him like, hey, the resurrection is on. And they still are going back to like, let's just go fishing. Like nothing's really changed in my life. First thing, Jesus doesn't give up on them. He shows up and says like, hey, Peter, you got to leave these people. I believe in you. Will you just get, get the movement started? Because I'm about to peace out and go up to heaven and ascend. And I gave you the Holy Spirit. So let's get the work done. But what I want you to think about this Sunday is have you already begun to just kind of go back into your normal patterns uh, before Easter? And has the Easter celebration really changed you in some ways? Has this journey of Lent and these spiritual disciplines we were talking about, has it changed your heart at all? And this Sunday, we're going to get into how do you allow the power of Easter to really transform your heart into newness and, and, and see where God is just switching things up in your life? Because if he's not switching things up in your life and not interrupting your life, I would tell you then maybe your discipleship needs a little gasoline because the Christian life is not comfortable. It doesn't just go as, as we planned because God is always throwing new things in there. But we got to obey. We got to listen. So have you been able to feel kind of a God is moving. God is stirring throughout your Lenten and Easter journey. And how do you feel that? How do you be open to that? Come this Sunday to find out how do you really listen and hear about what God is doing in your life? How God is transforming your life, your marriage, your family. Have you gone back to just your normal ways? And are you ready for God to really switch things up for the betterment of his kingdom? Think about that and bring that to uh, church this Sunday or Saturday night. We'll see you.